Hey, it's Shark Week, so let's dig into some awesome shark science. Alright, for starters, there are more than 440 species of sharks on Earth, of which about 20 can be seen off the coast of Virginia. Sharks have been around for quite some time. In fact, fossil records show us that they were around 180 million years before the dinosaurs. And ever since their debut on Earth all those years ago, they have certainly kept quite busy making an impact regulating various food chains all over the Earth's oceans. They've also made a big splash in Hollywood as one of the silver screen's most feared predators. But there's a few things that movies just can't seem to get right about these beautiful animals, so we thought we would clarify. Take Steven Spielberg's classic Jaws. Great movie. The only problem is the animatronic shark they used in the movie is way bigger than what a real great white shark grows to. The average female great white shark grows to about 20 feet in length. The one used in the movie was a little over 30 feet. No wonder they needed a bigger boat, folks. In Deep Blue Sea, scientists were trying to use genetically engineered sharks to study Alzheimer's disease. The only thing is that a shark's brain and the human brain are quite different, and the structural issues involved in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's would be better studied on chimps, rats, or some other mammal. With that said, the dogfish shark actually produces a protein that has been used in experimental therapies to fight Parkinson's. Pretty neat stuff. And of course, there's all those Sharknado movies. First of all, a shark can't be out of the water for more than a few minutes without suffering some serious health issues. Once they're out of the water, they're not motivated to randomly attack people with chainsaws as much as they are flopping around trying to get their gills back in the water. The final Sharknado movie even takes a few sharks into space. Folks, we've said it once and we will say it again, sharks won't survive in the vacuum of space. I guess we just have to let the Suspension of Disbelief Committee let some of these things slide, and we're good! Hey, if you're looking for more shark-related fun, then drop by the museum to see Great White Shark playing all week long on the biggest screen in Virginia. Thanks for tuning in, and have an excellent Shark Week! We'll catch you guys next time!